Good afternoon. Thank you for coming to this final. Uh, my name is Nathalie Boeskert. I've just recently finished my PhD, which was about synthetic anion transportage with anti-cancer activity. So the aim of my PhD was to develop relatively small molecules that can transport anions, such as chloride, which are the green spheres on the slide there, um, across a cell membrane. And so essentially it can transport anions from inside the cell to outside or vice versa. Now the reason you want like small molecules or sometimes peptides or proteins to transport these anions is because by themselves the anions they're negatively charged they like to stay in like the water environment while the cell membrane is rather um, a sort of oily um, surface on, on the cell and, and they cannot penetrate because has rather different properties than the water. So you need something that can grab the anion and sort of drag it across this oily uh, cell membrane. So the reason we're interested in this is because these specific anion transport uh, processes, they have been linked to certain genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis, but it has also been linked to um, the working of certain anti-cancer drugs and certain antibiotics. So basically the main aim of my PhD was to develop new therapies for these diseases. And the way I went around this in, during my PhD was basically to make uh, a rather large uh, amount of molecules. I have about 100 in my thesis, but those are the, on, the ones that actually worked, so there's actually more than them. So these 100 molecules, we test them in model systems just to see if they have any anion transport activity, and then if they do, how good they are. And then by using statistical analysis, we try to find out which parts of the molecules are essential in creating a good anion transporter. And then based on that information, we can design a new one that should have really good anion transport activity and then might be able to be used for biological activity or therapeutic activity. So for example, the molecule that is shown on the slide there is one that was developed in this way. The bits that are highlighted in red, it's like sulfur atoms, fluorine atoms, that came out of the statistical analysis as being really important for an anion transporter. But also that molecule, it has, as you can see, like three very similar bits, and that helps in grabbing the anion, like shown in the middle of the slide, it grabs it like a machine almost, and drags it across the membrane. So that molecule was one of the best ones I had. Uh, so we sent it to some collaborators who did some biological studies and they showed that it has indeed some anti-cancer activity and also some antibiotic activity. So I would say in my opinion, that molecule is one of the most interesting one in my thesis that actually achieved its goal of being a synthetic anion transporter with anti-cancer activity. Thank you for your attention.